Okay, so this is Plasma Mobile running on a Raspberry Pi 5. Let me just log in. So this is running on my version of KDE Plasma, which is based on Raspberry Pi OS, which I released recently for download. And there's something a bit wrong with the buttons, and I'll try and sort that out in a minute. But if I slide up, you can see all of the apps appear. So if I wanted to launch something, say for instance File Manager, I can go straight into that and I can close that down. I can also swipe down from the top right and we've got lots of modes in here. So we've got sound control, we've got mobile data, Bluetooth, settings, uh, night color, so you can see it goes a sort of yellowy color, although my camera seems to adjust a bit to that. It looks very yellow in here. We've got a screenshot option, which I'm not sure how that works. Let's see what it does. Yeah, that's taken a screenshot of that. That's cool. Save to screenshot, pictures and screenshots. So if I was to use the file manager and then go to pictures, well, it looks like it's double tap. Oh, well, there's a problem. Let's try a different file manager. So that was uh, PC Man FM. Let's see if Dolphin behaves the same. So if I go to pictures, yeah, screenshots. Oh, okay, so that, that's interesting. So Dolphin works fine. Obviously closing these down isn't so great. Uh, and I'm behind the camera, so it doesn't, it's not the best position for touchscreen. Yeah, so that doesn't work. Oh, you can press and hold. Yeah, but that's clumsy. So Dolphin is definitely better for that. And we've got things like the Discover Store, which should lend itself to it because it's all fairly big tiles. Yeah, so Developer, Installed Apps, Home. Yeah, all of that's good. And you can see the keyboard pops up when you need it. And it seems to be pretty reliable. So if I close that down, because the, the option I had was to have buttons or gestures. These are showing as question marks at the moment. Not sure how to change that. But if we do the terminal, and if we were to type in fast fetch, there you go. You can see that's working fine. I can lower that and go full screen. And the settings is pretty good on here as well. So, you know, we can see that it's pretty easy to navigate around. And I haven't found a way of switching through open apps. I'm not sure what that one does or what it's supposed to do, but it's not behaving as it should. So let's shut this down and I'm going to write it to another SD card. There you go, so that's shutting down. Let's take that SD card out and let's pop the SD card in. That was already booting from the NVMe, I'm hoping. Yeah, so this is my ordinary version of KDE Plasma, which I did a video on recently. So let's write a copy of it to the SD card that's in there. So if I launch Raspberry Pi Imager, choose OS, use custom, and this is KDE 6. And I'm writing it to the SD card. No changes, and yes. So I'm not too worried about verifying, so I'll cancel that. And then we shut this down. And have a restart. That should start from the SD card. Yeah, boot mode SD came up. It's what it defaults to. It can be changed in config.txt, but I usually leave it to SD card. And if we log in, so we'll open a terminal with Control Alt T and do sudo apt install plasma-mobile. So 187 megabytes download, 367 needed, so we'll say yes. And that's installing. Okay, so that's all finished. So we can log out. And we'll have another option down here now. So where it says desktop session, we've got plasma mobile. So password is still KDE. Get this nice welcome screen. So if I hit next, so we've got display scaling and theme. 
So we can go dark or light. I'm going to stick with light. And next, we know we get another regional thing which is already in there. So we'll do next. I'm already connected to my Wi-Fi. Yeah, this bit's the bit I changed before. So I picked button navigation because I'm used to old Android, but gesture navigation might be worth trying. It does say this can be changed later in settings. I couldn't see it. I mean, it's probably under system navigation, isn't it? Uh, so let's do next. Your device is now ready. Enjoy Debian Linux. And it's changed the background. If I press and hold, and you can do this with touch. Oh, it's also got wallpapers here. Look, this has got an icon missing. It could be because I changed the icons, so I use a window set of icons. It's not actually Windows, but Windows theme uh, for my version of KDE. So it might be worth changing that to see if these things aren't having issues. So if I do wallpapers, I can pick XP, for instance, or any of the others that are in here. That all looks nice. Oh, so now if I press and hold again, what were the settings options? Ah, so this is more to do with KDE Mobile, isn't it? So show labels on home screen. Show labels in favorites bar, page transition. Ooh, cube effect. Is that going to be like the old KDE one? Favorites bar, show background, yes. Show wallpaper blur effect. Switch between home screens and more wallpaper options. What does that mean? So the home screen layout to use. Wallpaper plugin. Oh, and that's just other other plugins. That's all right. So if I go back, how do I go back? I don't know how to go back. Certainly not obvious. Do I drag? Drag up? Why can't I work out how to drag? Uh, I'm going to try F2, which is usually home. That doesn't work. Try F1, which is usually back. That doesn't work. Escape. Back. Delete. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. And also, I've lost the close bits on the top here. Okay, I might need to try this on the touch screen because this, this isn't right. I think it was better with the buttons. Yeah, I'm going to pop this on the touch screen. But I need to shut it down. Control Alt Delete will do that. Yeah. So, different setup now. So, I'm using a 14 inch Y Max display. Here's my Pi 5 going in via HDMI, and I've also got a USB cable going in for touch control. If I tap on the screen, whoa, that's a big keyboard, KDE. Let's see that, how this works with touch. So it's going to be a lot of swiping up and swiping down. So that's the same as the other one. So if I swipe up, yeah, that gives me all of the apps. If I swipe up, that's obviously not meant to happen. I'm not meant to get a black screen at that point. I think that should be showing me the open apps. There's no open apps at the moment, but if I open some, so Dolphin, and then if I open Firefox, and let's go Chrome as well. So BBC Sport. It's a massive keyboard. Yeah, that's all working. So I've still not got a proper close tab here. What does that do? Search tabs, no. So there's, it's like it's got rid of all those window decoration bits that uh, allow you to close and minimize and stuff like that. So I think you should be able to do that and switch between the apps, but that doesn't work. And none of the sort of multi-touch gestures seem to work. I did do a bit of digging and it looks like it's meant to work with X11, which would kind of make sense. So it doesn't support Wayland. Now this was an old comment, but let's give it a try. So sudo raspi dash config. And I'm going to use my keyboard for this bit. So there's the Wayland bit here. Yeah, X11 look. Okay. And I've got a reboot. So now I'm on Plasma Mobile. Let's try that then. Everything looks the same, but if we open up the file manager and then if we swipe up, now we still get black. So what does it say I'm running? Oh, it's still on Wayland. I wonder if I should have switched to X11 before installing Plasma Mobile. 
Might try that. Yeah, that says X11. So maybe now I install Plasma Mobile. Okay, so maybe I need to remove it and install it again. So now if I log out, it still just gives me one Plasma Mobile option and it just gives me that black screen. Yeah, I'm sure the old one didn't do that. I've still got it on this 16 gig card. So let's shut this down. And we'll take that one out and pop this one in. Okay, so Plasma Mobile. Oh, it's still uh, Wayland on this. So if I slide across, I can open Dolphin File Manager, but then I can press the square and I get this. So I get the app that I can close down and I can even swipe it away as well. So Dolphin, uh, and then if I, if I press that and then swipe up, I'm closing the app. So that's much better. So at the moment, Plasma Mobile doesn't, doesn't seem to work well with Trixie. So I'll maybe try it again in the future, but at the moment it's not quite there yet. So we just open a few things up. It's nice and responsive still. And then we can switch between the open apps. Yeah, so it does work with Wayland. So it isn't a Wayland issue. And if we try YouTube on here, yeah, all the keyboard and everything works well. And if I start playing a video, yeah, that's all working. Okay, so I've updated my KDE build to be on Debian. So I think at the moment, if you do want to use a touch-based operating system on a Raspberry Pi 5, use my older build or an older version of Raspberry Pi. It looks like Trixie doesn't fully support it yet. Okay, so hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.